Camp and Sharon. I have been playing with the alcohol markers in the studio today, and I can't wait to show you the cards that I have made. If you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and need a new catalog, I'd be more than happy to send one to you. You can click the show more button below the video and find out how to contact me, sign up for my newsletter. Oh, hey, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Let's make some cards. I want y'all to know that I do have a download on my blog uh, for the ideas that I'm sharing with you today. You can visit my blog by uh, clicking the show more button and then go into my blog that way. And then, and then grabbing the download to remember these projects later. So I am using a new stamp set from the Holiday Mini Catalog. It's called Delivering Cheer, super cute. I have had a blast with this stamp set. And then I got to thinking, you know, this is more like for the holidays, but what if we switch it up and add a different sentiment stamp set with it? So I chose In Your Words. Um, I love all the sentiments. This is actually a celebration host stamp set. If you have an order that is more than $300 that can be yours and, and combined friends orders, then you can get this stamp set for free but it does have to be more than a $300 order. So if you have any questions about that, leave me a comment below and I'll help you out. So I have everything ready and my first card is uh, pretty simple. We're gonna be doing some stamping and coloring with the Stampin' Blends. These are alcohol markers and I love these. They come in so many colors. I'm waiting for them to come in all the colors, um, but they just make putting these cards together so quick and easy. So I have my supplies and I have two pieces of the new brushed foils that's also in the new um, mini catalog. And I took those and I embossed them with the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. And honestly guys, I just took it and stacked them both on top, ran it through at the same time, one shot, pretty quick. You could put them side by side, but I just stacked them. And then I have all the layers and everything for my card. Okay, so I have my basic wet, and this does measure two and a half by four and a half. I am using Memento ink because that's what you wanna use with your alcohol-based markers. If these were the Stampin' Write markers, you would want to use stays on. Before I get started, let me show you my card. I just love the texture. I love copper anyway, and I just felt like um, it would just bring in that fallish feel. Now, the card that I chose, I the card that I'm making, I am using the sentiment from the Delivering Cheer stamp set. So we're just gonna stamp this right here. And then I'm gonna stamp the legs. And then I have just the ground, maybe a little mud puddle, what she's standing in. Now let's see, I'm gonna do it this way. Super fun, they all go together so well. And the thing that's so fun is you can mix and match. She can have on a skirt, she can have on just her coat. All right, so we're gonna do some coloring. And I, I'm telling you, the Soft Succulent Stampin' Blend alcohol markers have become my favorite. I put them on everything. So we're gonna color her coat and the coloring is going to go very quickly. And I love the look of the alcohol markers. You can leave it just like that, or you can bring in the darker one and just follow the artist um, lines in the uh, image. And then just bringing in a little bit of shading. So I've got that. And then I'm gonna pull out the lighter one again, and I'm gonna use the barrel tip and I'm just going to kind of blend those colors 
just to give it, I don't know, it just gives it mm, more of a shaded look. Just love that. It's so fun and easy. Next, I'm gonna use the ladder of the crumb cake. And this is the paper that is holding the plants. And I'm not gonna add any shading to that. I'm just gonna leave it just like it is. And then to color these, you know, you wanna add some color. So, so I'm gonna take the darker of the pumpkin pie and I'm just, I don't know, just crazy coloring. I don't know what you call this. <laughs> just adding some color to our greenery. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. And then I'm gonna take the uh, Misty Moonlight and you can decide, do I want it darker? Do I want it lighter? So kind of experiment. Kind of take it and just, you could do both. This is actually, it's pretty dark because of the black underneath and I'm using the lighter one. So I'm gonna stick with that one. And I'm just alternating my plants. And then we're gonna add some green to our greenery. I'm using Old Olive. And then for her gloves and her scarf, I chose the ladder of the pumpkin pie. She looks very fallish. And I know that this video is first airing in August and you think, oh, it's so hot outside. Why is she talking about coats in fall? However, it'll be here before we know it. So I'm using this little image right here and it's her little leggings. And I'm gonna use pumpkin pie. So cute. <laughs> So we're gonna stamp our sentiment and I'm using Memento again on my little basic white layer. Warming thoughts to you this season. You know, and that doesn't necessarily mean Christmas season. I take it, it could be any occasion. I take it that it could be fall or winter. All right, let's put this together. All right, we're gonna put our layers together. And I'm telling you, this soft succulent has just really, especially for the fall, really has become my favorite color. <laughs> my favorite, I don't, is it a green? I guess it's a green. All right, same with our mat. And now our designer series paper. And this, and this scripty um, soft succulent in the fall uh, harvest designer series papers. Oh my, I wish I had a whole pack of just that. All right, so we're gonna bring in our embossed foils. And we do wanna add these with liquid glue. I'm just giving about a quarter of an inch there. And 
just overlapping a little bit. It doesn't want to stay down. <laughs> okay, I guess we need some more glue. That's too funny. All right, we're gonna have to put something on it to keep it down for a minute. Okay, while we're letting that glue set, that's too funny, I, I don't know why it did that, but we're gonna add some dimensionals to our layers. Now on this, let me just show you, I'm gonna have this overlapping, so I only want dimensionals on the left side. And then we're gonna add adhesive on the right side. Okay, everything's all flat now. It was too funny, I couldn't believe it kept curling up. All right, so we're gonna lay this here. And if you see by my placement, I have about, you know, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch. And now we're gonna add this about a quarter of an inch again. I decided I'm gonna add a dimensional on this corner right here just to really hold that card secure. All right, I'll make it my other cards because I think you're gonna be, you're gonna be surprised when you see my color choices. So this is the Whimsy and Wonder Suite. It's kind of uh, non-traditional Christmas colors. And when you look at these papers, they're absolutely gorgeous in person. I stamped on the paper, uh, which pattern is it? Right there, peeking behind there. I stamped on the paper and then I fussy cut it out and then I added it back to my girl that I'd already stamped her arms. And then again, I used the alcohol markers to do her coloring. Your birthday came, your birthday went. Here's the card I should have sent. What a perfect card to send to someone when you've forgotten their birthday in your words, stamp set. There it is, right there. So cute. All right, let me grab the other one. So when I was making these cards, I was like, does it bother me? I can't see her head. I can't see her face. But this sentiment says, I see you and you're wonderful. And I just thought it went with that stamp set. And again, that came from, in your words, um, I see you and you are wonderful. Sending this card for no particular reason. Perhaps the stars are opening where our loved ones shine down to let us know they're happy. That one, that's a good one. <laughs> that one kind of got me. Okay, guys, I hope that you are inspired with my alcohol coloring, but I hope you're inspired by the, the, the stamp sets and mixing them up and mixing those Christmas papers all year long for a birthday card. Happy stamping, y'all.